We're finally seeing uh, a real national war on breast cancer. Sixteen months ago, President Clinton ordered a comprehensive plan to be developed to combat the disease, and he put Dr. Susan Blumenthal, the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Women's Health, in charge. We're bringing together people from the consumer groups, from the healthcare professional societies, from private industry, and from government. Dr. Blumenthal, whose own mother died of breast cancer, is pressing for even more innovation in the area of early detection. The goal is to end up with something like this, which is a three-dimensional synthesis. In a precedent-setting move, she brought members of the National Cancer Institute together with chief imaging experts from the CIA, the Department of Defense, and NASA to try to improve the accuracy of mammography, now a 40-year-old technique. And Working Woman was given an exclusive tour of the National Information Display Lab in Princeton, New Jersey, where contract work is done for the intelligence community. This is the output of the neural network. Well, I've always figured if we can image missiles 15,000 miles away in distant skies, and if we can see with the Hubble telescope the surface of Mars, surely we should be able to better detect small lumps in women's breasts right in front of us. It didn't take long for CIA scientists to figure out how to use their tools in the medical field. Please zoom reduce. Please zoom reduce. Please stop. Please stop. This supercomputer, called the Princeton Engine, can do animated renderings of MRIs, allowing a doctor to see in 3D the interior structures of the body. And an impressive new development could radically change how mammograms are read. Here's a piece of intelligence equipment that looks for changes in photos. By teaching that same computer what a normal breast looks like, it can then detect changes in that breast over time. Dr. Blumenthal is the champion for making this happen and has the courage and conviction to do that. All of these things, combined with the push for new technology and greater advocacy in the battle against breast cancer, should give us all more peace of mind and hope.